FreeBrokerSchool.com brought to you by Rio Genesis, bringing the unfranchised solution. The best tools, training, and technology without the headaches, restrictions, and cost of a franchise. We are your partners for real estate success. Hi, this is Mike Krein and welcome to another episode of Free Broker School. Everything you need to know, but no one else will ever teach you. For those of you in retail real estate, agents, brokers, running offices, you're out there trying to make a living, you need to do deals to feed your family, I need you to rethink your business model. We have a market correction coming. Things are going to change, prices are going to fall, there's another wave of REO and default coming. And there's more information up here at freebrokerschool.com called The Next Wave of REO, parts one, two, and three. So it explains all the whys. So if you don't believe me, go back and look at that first, and this will all make sense. But if, to make money going forward, you need to start building your investor database now. There's a lot of reasons why investors are going to become a larger percentage of the purchases again. And again, it's all explained in those other three videos. But we have another wave of REO coming, and you're going to need the investors to make money. So with the market softening and interest rates likely rising, investor sales are going to increase as a percentage of overall transactions. And our goal as brokers and agents is to make money, so you go where the market is. One thing you will learn very quickly in this business, as well as any other, is you cannot fight a market. You must go where the market goes and figure a way to make money on it. So you need to increase your investor database, build it up, because that's going to be a lot more of your sales going forward in the next few years. Now, you probably already have some investors already, but you're going to need a lot more. Now, building an investor database is very easy to set up and maintain. It'll result in more double deals for you, which is more money, and actually more deals in general. But we're going to focus on the doubles right now and leveraging your listing inventory. So you also, one of the other things about dealing with investors doing a lot more investor sales, especially if you're a broker, uh, it's more transactions for the office. That increases your market share. The more market share you have, the easier your recruiting becomes and the office grows. Very simple. But to build an investor database, the reality is you already have all of the information you need right in your office. You already have it, okay? Investors have been buying your listings for years, especially if you're an REO broker or you have an REO department in your office. They've been buying your properties and your listings for years, which means you already know who they are. All you have to do is go through your files, look at the contract, you've got their name. So very important. Now, even if they're represented by another agent and they bought one of your listings, it was only on that deal that that was their agent. You know, right now they're fair game, okay? They, were the, they had an agent for that deal. Doesn't mean they're represented for the ever and ever and ever. You know, all investors use a lot of different agents. The fact is you have them in your files. All you have to do is pull out the names. I'm gonna tell you what to do with it and how to make some money with this. And we're gonna automate the process so it's very easy for you. Now, um, Every one of you, depending on what state you're in, has to hold all your files for five to seven years. That's typical, all your transaction files. So I know you have them. So you can't say, oh, I don't know where to find them. Yeah, you do, they're in your files. So let's start with that. It's very easy to do this and set it up. It can be done in one day. So what I want you to do, and you may just have to clear a day to do this, or maybe take a Saturday and go in, we have some peace and quiet. Now you don't have to be the broker to do this. If you're an agent, ask your broker's permission uh, to go through the files and set this up. All right, I don't, can't see them saying no. Uh, if you're the broker, obviously you own those files. If you're an agent, um, be very careful that you're not pulling buyers off of transactions that were done by other agents in your office because you will have some political conflicts. Although again, all's fair in love, war in real estate, but do the right thing there. But I want you to pull out the name of any investor purchaser. Usually they purchase cash, not always. But you can, do, you can actually do this with every buyer who's ever come through your office, who's on any contract in your office. And you can even set up a separate marketing campaign just for all your past buyers, because eventually they will become sellers and listers. So it's always good to have a great database, good CRM set up. But we'll talk just about for the investors right now. So you go through all of your old files, pull out anybody who was an investor who paid all cash typically, all right? Put the name in a database, you should have a good CRM. And if not, you know, that's what we do at Rio. Um, but Google them for their email address. You can find anybody's email address usually just by Googling them. If not, check LinkedIn and also Facebook to contact them. Those are also good sources, but you can pretty much find anybody's email address you want. Then you wanna add them into your CRM. And if you have Rio Genesis, you know how easy that is to do that. All right, then you wanna set up your drip campaigns. And these are automated. 
And again, if you have Rio Genesis, they're already in there for you. All you have to do is select the list and go. But you want to set up drip campaigns, which is a steady stream of emails and information. But this isn't going to be like a timed drip campaign. This is going to be item specific. And that is when you get a new listing. Whether it's a brand new listing of the office that makes sense for a fix and flip or makes sense for an investor to purchase for a buy and hold or what really works great are pre-list properties and pre-marketed properties. If you're an REO broker, those are phenomenal for this. But you have the property information. Um, you create a flyer for all new investor type properties. Okay, and again, either good cash flow or for fix and flip, doesn't matter, just depends on the investor type. But you find most investors nowadays do both, especially at the local level, which is who you really want. Um, it takes 30 seconds to create a flyer. Again, I keep pushing Rio because we automated this whole process, so it's all in one system. Um, but the flyer templates are there. Shouldn't take you more than 30 seconds to create the flyer. Then you want to send out all the new listings, especially pre-market or pre-listed stuff that's not on MLS, but also auctions will work. You can get, you've got the pre-list HUD stuff coming out of Brico. You've got Home Search, Zome, anything that makes sense. Most agents and brokers out there don't like auctions. They don't deal with them, so they don't really pay that much attention to them. You can find some good inventory to, to send over to your investors this way. But the point is you want to get information out to them. You want to build this database. You already have more information sitting in the files in your office than you would believe to build a great investor database. And then you want to automate the process and automate the sales. So first thing you want to do after you've got this all built is you want to reach out by phone or email. And then you need to have the conversation. Okay, first thing you're going to do is find out if they are still interested in investing in real estate and what they're looking for. Because you want to do some notes, and most of the time, once you build an investor database, you'll have sub lists within it. Like some will do buy, just simply buy and hold, some are simply fix and flip, and then some are both. And there's different types of investors and what they like. So you can actually create multiple lists within your CRM. Any good CRM will do that for you. All right, explain to them, you know, if they're still looking to buy, which most investors never get out, they just stay there and they're always around. Um, explain that you'll notify them of new listings and some before they even come on the market. Investors love to hear that. They love to get first dibs and first look at things. But you also have to explain this. They must use you as their agent, both on the purchase and on the resell for the listing if they flip it. All right, tell them that up front. Say, look, guys, you know, this is the way it works. I'll get you the stuff ahead of time. I'll get you information before anybody else. I'll get you your first look. However, you remember to use me, okay? Um, also try to leverage other business out of them. And that could be property management. If they're a buy and hold investor, you have a property management firm. Um, you can get the rent listing if they're going to rent it. You definitely want the listing if they're going to flip it. Um, now, on some of these, if you're dealing with auction sites for inventory, they may have to pay you a buyer's brokerage fee or a premium. Now, if the deal works, an investor's not going to mind. All they care is, does the deal work? So sometimes you're going to have to say, look, you know, I got to get paid here. This is what it is. If the numbers make sense, they won't have a problem with it. Now, if they're a broker or they want to use their own agent, no, okay? You're not giving them information for free for them to go use somebody else. So you tell them, sorry, then this program just isn't for you, all right? And be clear about it. And you explain how loyalty is a two-way street. Most investors will respect that and are very loyal if you treat them well. Uh, occasionally, yeah, they may go bring their own agent in. Well, you just make sure to take them off the list if that happens. And they don't get any more information from you. It's that simple, all right? So it does not take a lot of time, all right? This can be set up in one day, and then every time a new listing, a pre-market listing comes in, a pre-list, or something on the auction sites, it takes you 30 seconds to notify them. This can get you a lot of deals, but there's some additional benefits as well. Uh, future listing opportunities. Most investors either change out their portfolios, readjust their portfolios, or sell eventually for one reason or another. So having a good group of investors you've worked with for years, eventually they're all gonna sell, and there's your listing opportunities. Also, you can get additional referrals. You'll find that most real estate investors tend to know each other in most areas. They run into each other either at the courthouse steps or by looking at the same properties or chasing down the same foreclosures. So if you take care of one and they say good things about you, well, you'll probably get another referral. Another thing is investors are human beings. They're moms and dads and they have families and jobs and coworkers. That's your SOI, you wanna expand that. Okay, it's not just you can get other investor referrals from them, but they've got family and friends. You want to leverage that SOI with those relationships to get even more business for you. So that's another benefit. Okay, and the bottom line is it's just more deals. 
and more deals bring you more deals. The more deals you do, the more deals you get. That's just how this business works for all sorts of reasons. But it's not that difficult to do. You can go through all your files over the last couple of years in a day, set them up in a CRM, and start this 30 seconds every time you get a new property in or you see anything interesting. Okay, so it basically becomes an automated process, a minute each day, all right? You create the flyer with the property info, you select the list, you hit send. That's what a good system will do for you. And then let the buyers come in. Now, a few things with investors, most will go take a look at the property themselves. In other words, they'll go drive by it first, which is nice because it saves you the trouble. Or they'll say, okay, the numbers work. Or they may call you and say, all right, what's the rent on this area? Or, hey, I want to see the inside of it. So yeah, it's still a normal transaction. But the nice thing is, they usually know what they want, what areas they like, and what prices work for them. So usually they'll only bother you if they're highly interested and motivated. So it becomes a very qualified buyer when they contact you back. And again, that makes you more efficient, you waste less time, and you make more money. So given the state of the markets, and again, if you're curious about why this is all going to occur, uh, three videos, next wave of REO parts one, two, and three are up on the site. But start building your investor database now automate the sales process and you will make a hell of a lot of money and you're going to have to look at this as a revenue center because of where the market is going all right it's going to be much more difficult to make money in the coming years ahead as a real estate agent or broker this is one way that you can kind of jump ahead of everybody else and ensure yourselves a nice income hope you enjoyed the information and please go do this it's really pretty easy thanks